Hi everyone. So in this video, I am going to show you how to find classes at our second partner in Salamanca, the Universidad Pontificia de Salamanca, which is a small private Catholic university. I'll talk to you first of all about the academic uh, areas that our students tend to gravitate towards at the Pontificia, and then I'll take you to the website and I'll show you how to pull up the Planes de Estudios and the Programas de Clase. Now, in terms of academics, because of its smaller size, the Pontificia's class offerings are not as extensive as the offerings at the USAL. But that said, there are some very interesting options at the Pontificia. Probably the area that our students tend to take most of their Pontificia classes in is in the Grado de Psicología. Uh, the Psicología degree is not only a great program, but, and this is key, it is located very centrally in Center City. So if you are in a psych class in the Pontificia, if you uh, walk, you're probably at three to four minutes from the Facultad de Filología at the USAL, as well as the Facultad de Historia e Geografía at the USAL. If you take your psych classes in the USAL, on the other hand, you will be more towards the outskirts of town which increases your, your travel time. So in order to free up the, the, all that logistical travel time, what I usually tell students to do is to first start out looking for their psychology classes at the Pontificia, because it will make it easier for you to combine your psych classes with the other classes that you need to take on site here in Salamanca. So another area that our students tend to register in in the Pontificia is in Theologia. Now, one of the options that you have to take theology classes is through the Grado de Theologia. Know that the Grado de Theologia is quite different from theology at Georgetown in that it is a degree that's oriented towards students who are deeply Catholic, and many of those students are eventually thinking of taking religious orders. So those would be the people that you would be studying with in the Grado de Teología. There is a second option for taking Teología at the Pontificia, and that is through the required classes for other students who are not studying theology. So if you are a nursing student, or you are a psychology student, or you are a journalism student, you are also required to take a theology class through your own facultad. And I will show you later on in this video how to find those um, theology classes in other facultades and what they are called. Healthcare is the third main area that our students tend to look for classes in at the Pontificia. Um, the USAL does have a school of nursing and it does have a school of medicine, but our students are not allowed by the USAL to take classes there. The Pontificia, on the other hand, opens its school of nursing to our students, and I will go into that in a little bit more detail later on in the video. So those are the three main areas of study that our students tend to gravitate towards in the Pontificia, but I definitely encourage you to look at other offerings as well in that, this university. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the Pontificia website, and I'll show you where to pull up that programa de clase and the planes de estudios. Um, normally, you would go through the OGE um, program brochure for Salamanca, which contains links directly to different Pontificia grados and facultades, but I've pulled up the link directly in order to save time in this video. Okay. So um, what I pulled up is the Grado de Psicología, which is typical of, its structure is typical of all of the grados in the USAL, in the Pontificia. And if we're going to look first at the Plan de Estudios. As you can see, it is in the middle of the page, and it is right, if you click on it, you will pull up something similar to the USAL in that you have a list of the sequenced curriculum for any degree at the Pontificia divided into years. So here we have you know, first year, uh, primer curso. And on that list, you will be able to find the class name, the number of credits, and the semester that that class is offered in. Now, in the Pontificia, unlike in the USAL, if you click directly on the name of a class within the um, Planes de Estudios, you will be taken directly to the PDF of that class's programa. 
So, um, and the, it has a nice little table of contents. If you want to explore what will be taught in that class, I would recommend looking at the breve descripción de la asignatura, as well as, of course, contenidos. And two other areas that I would recommend looking at are the requisitos previos, in order to find out your prerequisites, and your criterios de evaluación, in order to see how you will be graded. Okay, so let's go back to the Pontific, to the Psicología Plan de Estudios, so that I can show you how to look for theology classes outside of the Grado de Teología, the Pontificia. So there, as I said, there are two required uh, theology classes that all Pontificia have, students have to take, and they have the exact same name across all the facultades. So what you're going to be looking for is Hecho Religioso y Fe Cristiana, and the other class is called Visión Cristiana del Hombre y la Sociedad. And again, those are classes that can be found in all different facultades, which is nice because you have a better chance of being able to fit them into your schedule. Okay, so in terms of nursing or enfermería classes for healthcare students, I just want to point out that most of those classes are available to you if you have the requisite knowledge to take them, but there is one exception. So if you look at the screenshot here of first year nursing classes, you can see that there is one class called the practicum. Those practicums, which are offered in all of the years at the nursing school, are off limits to you because they involve going to actual healthcare institutions and interacting directly with patients. Now, in terms of general classes, outside of the three main areas that we've talked about, I also do encourage you to check out Pontificia Grados, whose students need a certain level of general background information in a variety of different fields. So, for example, if we look at here you can see the first year classes in periodismo or journalism. You can see that in this year, journalism students are required to take um, such classes at oral expression, language and literary writing, law, history, psychology, interpersonal communication. And so the periodismo degree doesn't just consist of journalism classes. They may interest you as well, too. But if you're not interested in journalism or any of the other degrees at the Facultad de Comunicación, um, know that these degrees often include classes on general knowledge that's important to people who are going to work in journalism or other media. The degrees in the Facultad de Comunicación, which have general knowledge classes, are the following. Comunicación Audiovisual, Marketing y Comunicación, Periodismo, and Publicidad y Relaciones Públicas. So just a note, some of the classes in those degrees may be given in English, and Georgetown will not allow you to take those classes because you are required to take all of your classes on site in Spanish. Okay, I hope I've helped to steer you towards areas of interest that might be of use to you at the Pontificia, as well as giving you a roadmap for how to get the class information on that website. Happy class hunting!